primary aging results uh, as a result of growing older, a ch changes that occur as we grow older. Secondary aging would be uh, additional complicating influences of disease, uh, of environment, of disease plus environment uh, added on top of that. Uh, longevity component. So everybody's heard the term DNA and uh, uh, these kinds of molecules are uh, produced, uh, make, make up our genes uh, all the time from birth through death and they get damaged uh, in part because of the aging process, in part because of our abuse of our bodies and whatnot. But there are uh, inherent repair mechanisms that also uh, compensate for the damage. However, there's only a, a finite period in our lives where the repair and the damage are kind of in a, a state of harmony, in balance, and that's in the 20s, early to late 20s. Beyond that point, um, damage surpasses repair. It's true that um, in elderly people who lose the will to live, they do that uh, uniformly. They stop eating and uh, <clears throat> they stop interacting and that, that contributes to an earlier death than if those people remain active and eat properly and so forth. <clears throat> That's different from the uh, general uh, fact that I think everyone's familiar with too, that losing weight at any age, if you're overweight, is a good thing. And the best way to lose weight is not to exercise it off. The best way to lose weight is to uh, eat it off, eat less. And in those cases, so we're, we're now not talking about the uh, failure to thrive, we're talking about a child, <clears throat> a middle-aged person, or the elderly who need to lose weight. Sunbathing. So you can take any part of your body that doesn't get regular sun exposure and monitor its rate of aging. Then you can take a part of the body, the face, arms, hands, neck, that uh, <clears throat> gets more sun exposure, and identify people who purposely uh, expose themselves to the sun more regularly. Their skin will age more rapidly than the skin of those who don't do it. Good example, people living in the southwestern part of the United States, relative to people living in the northeastern part of the United States. People in the southwest can't avoid the sun, or at least not as easily and their skin at any given age will look older than those uh, living in the Northeast. In the uh, general public, the average person who maintains um, a more active mind throughout life, so reads, does crossword puzzles, writes, thinks, studies, whatever way you want to describe uh, maintaining an active mind, <clears throat> that person uh, will have use of their cognitive functions for a longer period of time than someone who doesn't do that. Eating wisely and uh, being physically active are prescriptions to a healthy life or a healthier life at any age. So <clears throat> I think uh, the combination of being physically active for a lifetime and uh, choosing uh, to eat wisely as a lifetime practice will reduce the uh, consequences of aging, will minimize both primary and secondary uh, contributions and uh, will lead to a person's being 
I think, generally more healthy at any given longitudinal age. Thank you.